Okay, this one's going to be interesting. It's a little, I think it's a little bit bigger than a business card. Right, let's see if we can make this look good. Okay. Okay, this one's going to be an interesting size to make it. So it's going to be a bit bigger than a business card. So I'm going to make this one. I think it's going to be... 345 and this one vertical is going to be 300 we're going to go 347 a little bit bigger I don't know how that's going to work I'm going to find out but this one's an interesting one <laughs> it's just a piece of rubbish but I want to use it it's nice to get to make demos of things before you throw them out. Try to recycle as much as I can or even reuse. Like if I find a piece of clothing and I used in my demo, I want to give it away to charity instead of throwing it in the bin. So come on, do we want do we want that? Yeah we do. So we're gonna stick with that. Probably text enhance. This will be an interesting one in negative mode. I don't think we're going to need a background colour for this. So let's see if we can make the colours look better in negative mode. So this is going to be a challenging one, I think. Which way are we going? Contrast, we're going brightness. We're going to make it bright. Dark, it's going to be dark, of course. And I wonder what colour we're going to make use of in the RGB we're going to go red hang on I'm not doing that I'm going to go to hue just my intuition gets me helps sometimes it's hard to work with my intuition here so I wonder if maybe we're going to use green for a change we just make it a little bit greener this is going to be an interesting one. I don't know how it's going to turn out. I'm going to use less yellow. Up the magenta. Less cyan. We don't want to overpower, make it too green. And just a little bit of black. So this is a different setup of colour balance for a change. Instead of doing all the colours together. And But anyway, this is like an old SIM card holder. You know, when you get it in the when you get your sim card you've got to pop it out and it's gone i've obviously put it in one of my phones so let's see how that goes see if we can make that look good before we toss it away i'm not sure if it's recyclable though that's the thing let's see how it goes let's see Okay, printing. Right, let's see if we can get this one first go. It'd <laughs> be nice. This is an odd size. Let's see if the colour looks good. It's going slow. Did I put it on? I must have put this on glossy if it's gone that slow. I don't normally use glossy on this machine. Yes, I have. I accidentally pressed glossy. We're just going to take it off. It's too slow. Uh, and this does look nice colour-wise to a certain degree. It looks cool, but we're going to make it a bit taller. And I think we've got it the right le length. So we're going to make a vertical change vertically. But yeah, I, I had a feeling I'd put it on glossy, even though I've never used glossy on this device. I just pressed it accidentally. Uh, what else are we going to do with this silly thing? No, we're not doing this. Actually, we're going to go here. We're going to... Uh, I think we're going to leave that. We're just going to leave that. We're just going to go back to the size, the enlargement, and we've got to get the vertical a bit bigger. So the vertical is going to be 347. So 347, I think we go up to 300 and 47, 350, or maybe it'll be 353, which is like the model number on my old. 
a photocopy I had before this, the old Bitconica Minolta Bizhub C353, which had which eventually died on me, <laughs> and they couldn't keep the service agreement going because the spare parts were discontinued. So I had to I had to forcefully be upgrading to this, or should I say replacing. Upgrading is different to replacing, but people often use the word upgrade to describe replacing something, which is not right. It's not it's not re, it's not upgrading. Upgrading is when you upgrade the software or the hardware and you keep the whole thing in play you keep the machine in play. You don't this what I had to do was a replacement and that was Konica Minolta's capitalist attitude to be blamed here. So we're gonna go so basically that's what happens when your favourite things become expendable by the big big people in the big end of town who don't care about the product that you love. They just care about the fucking money and they don't and the people that want to make make it a better product don't get any influence whatsoever. They don't, they just get they just become consumers. Like how many nerds and geeks would probably dream of being the CEO of Apple? I mean, fuck, there'd be tens of thousands, maybe millions. And of course, the person that's in control of Apple is an asshole called Tim Cook, and he can't make nothing new. But I'm sure there's lots of nerds and geeks that could do a good job. But for some reason, the asshole got the job, and nerds and the geeks. So when when uh, what's his name? Uh, bless his little soul. Uh, what's his name? When Steve Jobs died, that was the person who took over. And it hasn't since Stephen Jobs died, Apple's not been the same since. They make a load of shit. I'll have to buy some of their products down the track. But I have to be careful which products to buy. I've got to buy what's best out of the shit. And it is shit. Honestly, I have no respect for... Tim Cook and his fucking asshole decisions that he makes, <sighs> like taking off the headphone jack of the, of the uh, iPhone 7, 8, and 10, really bad, really, really bad, uh, bad decision. But and the nerds and geeks and even the normal people are all up in art, all pretty pissed off. But no, the stupid rich, rich bitch just goes along with what he thinks is going to make a lot of money he doesn't care about people not being able to listen to music while charging their phone but of course you you, have, you can do that the only way you can do that is to buy a dongle that like which is an adapter that gives you both charging and listening to music and and who wants to fucking keep buying dongles that's the problem with with tim cook's innovation if you could call it innovation is you're going to be too reliant on dongles to make to make the um, products usable, and that's really dumb. So when you're using a MacBook Pro like the 2016 model, they're all uh, USB-C ports. You don't have a USB adapter. You don't have the old uh, charging port where if you were to tug on the cord or trip on the cord, it comes undone. I think it's called, it's like a safety de device to prevent your MacBook Pro going on, ending up on the ground in pieces because you tripped over the cable, the charging cable. I mean, seriously, you need all these dongles because you've got all these USB, uh, USB, uh, I think they're called USB-C, and that's all you've got. So you need to get dongles to convert it to all sorts of other standards which is really dumb what the fuck was tim cook on was he pulling a fucking cone or something i mean the bitch the bitch but i don't think the bitch pulls cones but he's fucking he might as well be pulling a cone at least at least it'll give him an excuse some kind of excuse for making a fucking mess but you know that i'm just sick of these people who who do jobs these big important jobs of running big corporations like Apple, like Konica Minolta, and they don't fucking give a shit. Look at this. Three steps to make a fucking photocopy. I mean, come on. What is this? I've never had this before. It's, it's pathetic. But, I mean, that's just what I have to live with because I don't have any choice. Well, anyway, we're not going to go any further with that. We're still showing a bit of the edge, but that looks interesting. Could be better, I suppose, but I think we're just going to call it quits.